Hey everyone, Josh here. I just want to show you some examples of how you can add color to Excel. Really make Excel more engaging, more fun, uh, just more visually interesting. So these, all four of these examples are, exam are built fully in Excel, no plugins, no custom coding, nothing like that. Just using Excel's default features to make pages that are a little bit more visually interesting. So top left, super extreme example. This is like a spaceship looking cool UI. This effect, they use it a lot in movies um, because it looks cool, but functionally speaking, it's not great for data visualization or for, uh, or for summarizing data in a way that's easy to interpret. But it looks great and it shows off some of the concepts that are available in Excel for visual design. So this is all built using shapes layered shapes. These are all shapes that are just part of the default shape uh, shape menu in Excel. I've just dialed the colors in, dialed the outlines in in such a way that the colors feel cohesive and they kind of fit together in a way that looks really nice. Um, this looks really complex, but it's not as hard as you might imagine. So one of the easiest ways to learn this is actually getting a template, uh, like getting one of these files and pulling it apart and starting to just look at each each setting for each shape and understanding how it's been done. So I offer that to people by uh, sending out free examples in a newsletter every month. If you wanna join, I'll have a link below. But you can also just do this any other way. If you find an example of a dashboard, try deconstructing it yourself so you kind of understand the pieces that create this stuff. The underlying concept here though is heavily leaning into shapes and breaking free of sort of the grid layout that you typically associate with Excel. Excel is essentially a series of cells, <laughs> A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, and we put things into each cell and cell coordinates. That is great for processing data. It's not so great for visually interesting data. So what I do in all of these examples is I actually start to put my metrics and my charts outside of that grid layout. So when you see metrics here, this metric isn't actually in a cell. This metric is in a rectangle. I've inserted a rectangle shape made it see-through, you know, removed all of the fill, removed the line on the outside, and then pointed it at data in a cell. So it's pointed at data C15, one of my other tabs. And what that does is it allows me to format the text, but move it around freely. And whenever I go back to data C15 and update my data, the data is updated here in the dashboard. As we break outside of that grid layout, we can start to do much more interesting layouts and visual designs like this. And it's only possible, in fact, when we break outside of that grid layout. If you look down here, this is a uh, foraging guide I put together just as an example. It has a sunburst chart in the center, visually engaging, very cool, and powered by a data table. But everything else in this dashboard is actually a set of very very simple rectangles layered on top of each other. They look really cool when they're all stacked together, but the underlying pieces are a series of rounded rectangles with either an image fill, a, gra an image fill, a gradient fill, or a solid color fill. Um, you put those things together and you start to get these cool forms, cool shapes, cool UI elements, just like you would do if you were working on designing a website or designing something in Figma or doing a PowerPoint presentation. All of your designs are really just a series of shapes layered together. And when you have that ability, like Excel does to layer shapes together, you can do almost anything that you could do somewhere else in any other app like PowerPoint. Bottom right example is a little more tame. This is just an example of a card layout, but it just shows how a little bit of color, a little bit of adjustments to your shapes and giving everything a little bit more organized of a form with some pop colors, some popping colors that kind of have a little bit of differentiation can add to the impact of something in a way that's really substantial. And you don't have to go all crazy like I do in some of these other examples. You can still keep it pretty professional. Uh, this top example, this is from uh, my Excel dashboard toolkit. I'll also link to that below. But my Excel dashboard toolkit is just a series of elements like this in a bunch of different colors with instructions and tips and tricks and all sorts of examples that kind of help you see like, hey, Maybe I do want to have something that's a little brighter, a little more, you know, has a little bit more impact, looks a little, uh, looks a little cooler, <laughs> I dare say, and that you can actually try that in Excel without having a ton of technical knowledge or technical skill. It's actually pretty straightforward. It's just styling shapes in creative ways. So that's kind of, that's the overview. This is what's possible. Comment below with questions and let me know what you're doing to use color in Excel. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much.